Hello to everyone and welcome to another Marine Engineering video by Adventure Store Channel. Today guys we will talk about how to fill the nitrogen inside this nitrogen hydraulic accumulators and we have two types of accumulators which is low pressure two bars and 30 bars okay which is installed on alpha lubricator and what you will need okay for do that job first of all you will need for sure new nitrogen accumulators because some of them will be damaged and how you can see if your accumulator is damaged okay as you can see here from this image okay we have this nitrogen bottle settled here okay and tied with a rope and also we have connected a pressure regulator which reduce the bottles pressure okay to the pressure that we require okay and here you can see the pressure bottle of our nitrogen okay the pressure on the bottle inside and here this is the pressure which is the output from this regulator and the pressure it's regulated by this handle okay this big handle and this small black valve is to release the nitrogen that is located here on the bottle to the accumulator okay through this hose remember to tight your connections properly so you will not lose your nitrogen and also you do not have any drop of pressure through the line okay so you will be better determine what is going on through your system and your components okay of these hoses and accumulators next when you connect all these hoses which have also some o-rings here maybe okay it depends your connection but mostly they must have some teflon o-rings teflon gaskets and this is how it looks like okay from the other end this is the hose going back to this device okay this handle here what does okay there is a shaft passing from inside okay and connected with a allen key which is attached here look in this place okay on the top of the accumulator so what is going on when you like to fill on the accumulator inside here as you can see also we have a dial gauge here okay a dial gauge a pressure gauge sorry what it, what you do okay you regulate the pressure which you will feel okay about two bars and slowly open this black valve okay and also uh, you can open it full okay this one and also you release this valve okay this handle here counterclockwise left side okay also here it's connected it's tight on the bottom and what is going on the pressure comes from the bottle travels to the hose and it remains here okay it wait here until you open this f valve this small valve here okay this one at the moment when you are opening this valve okay the pressure gauge here will indicate the pressure inside on the accumulator which is accumulated here and what it checks you are doing then you are put your finger below here okay and you check if it's coming oil or air at the first moment will come for sure oil okay which is accumulated here there but you must wait until all the oil is drained from inside and then you will look for nitrogen leakage you do not like this if you have nitrogen leakages okay that means that the membrane which is located inside here it's damaged 
and the nitrogen is passing from this side here on the top to the oil side okay this membrane separates the nitrogen to the oil okay from the oil that is the main purpose of this membrane and also with the accumulated pressure here of the nitrogen okay it keeps a pressure on the system okay so now we know how the system it works but very very important is before you put this tool okay before you put this you connect this tool what you need to do is to take a allen a normal allen not this one okay this is the face when we tight this allen okay which is about 25 nitrometers at the end okay we, when we already filled that one if i remember correct but in the book says that completely the nitrometers that must be tightened and what you do before you fill okay you take a allen key and you release it just a little bit okay because this is really really hard tightened and if you use this tool here for sure you will broke the allen that is located inside and then you will cannot operate this equipment okay because this equipment here with this handle it's like a vein for close and open the allen key here okay which allows the nitrogen to enter inside on the accumulator okay that is the purpose of this device here and this device it's only one piece that you can have on board okay i don't believe that you have two of this one maybe some companies have but this is a special tool and here you can connect a dial gauge be sure that you do not have any leakages okay right here when you are complete your filling of your nitrogen okay on the accumulator write the date that you feel and the pressure so you be sure what you have what is going on and it's better to have ready okay some parts to be ready that you will install in next uh, overhauling or maintenance okay and what we do okay when we fill our accumulator we close this f okay we turn the handle clockwise now so we close this allen which is located on the top here okay this one and then we close also this ah wait one moment no we didn't close this one okay one moment i have a thing because we need to wait we need to wait some moment to see if our accumulator is keeping the pressure okay so to see that what we will do we will leave open this handle okay and we will leave also open this one okay and we will close this one here okay if we see that the pressure it drops that means somewhere we have a leakage and this accumulator it's not applicable anymore to use on our engine so order new accumulators the same procedure is also for for the high pressure accumulator which is 30 bars the low one it's two bars okay the same exactly procedure the only thing that you need to do is to adjust the pressure on the higher set point here always calibrate your gauge before attempt to make any job to have a sure and a clear view what is going on on your accumulators if it's properly adjusted use calibrated gauges to calibrate also these pressure gauges okay and this is here the big one okay 30 bar okay that is it when you are finished because this picture is very nice when you're finished you close this one the f1 which is set on the book that this is the f 
valve and also I have marked it with F so if you use somebody to be determined quicker okay but it's very easy okay first time if you use it it will be a little bit tricky but it's really, really easy when you know it close this one close also this one clockwise okay and close this one also the black one and you can close when you are completely finished also the main valve here okay the gray one which is completely closed then you release this one here this nut which is connected with the thread here and also if i remember correct okay there is a o-ring below here this plays very very important role because if you have any cracks on that o-rings for sure you will have leakage also from there be sure that you have also that o-rings this this o-rings is very very strong because when you tie it this also pressed and need to be checked so that is it the procedure with the nitrogen filling of the accumulators for alpha lubricators okay thank you for watching guys stay tuned to adventure story channel don't forget to subscribe your thumbs up and more videos coming i will try to do my best Bye -bye.